real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Skylar Jackson says she was best friends with the defendant. And when the defendant became pregnant with her second child, Skylar intended to adopt the child. However, the defendant backed out of the agreement after Skylar had already paid an attorney, so she's suing. Defendant Victoria Malone admits that she intended to give her second baby up for adoption and discussed allowing Skylar to adopt him. However, the father of her son refused to sign over his parental rights, and therefore she had no choice but to back out of the adoption agreement. Tell me what happened. Okay. Um, I met the defendant, Victoria, in seventh grade, and we instantly became best friends. We did almost everything together. Her senior year of high school, she found out that she was pregnant with my goddaughter, who's now two years old. Um, we were, I was there when her daughter was dedicated, during her daughter's dedication and everything. In February of 2011, she became pregnant with her second child. She told me that she was confused as to how she was going to care for this baby. She was already doing it with one and she wasn't expecting any help from the father. She told me that she was um, interested in doing an adoption and she was looking at agencies. And I believe a couple months later she called me again telling me that a family member had stepped up to adopt a baby. And she was so happy because she really wanted to be able to be a part of the baby's life and her mom wanted to be a grandmother to all her kids and know them and have them in her life as well. However, in July of 2011, she was telling me that the family member who planned to adopt the baby had backed out. So as a friend, I comforted her during that time. I then spoke with my mom about the situation and I don't have any kids and I have been having trouble conceiving. We kind of tossed around the idea of what if I was to adopt a baby. My mom agreed that with her help and, my, and me, we could find some way to do it. I brought the idea to Victoria's attention and she loved the idea. She loved the idea of him being in their home. We wanted to raise her son and her daughter knowing that they're brother and sister and she's pretty much, she was like family to us. And I mean, we basically started planning from there. It was decided that I was going to be at every doctor's appointment, do any kind of classes I needed to take. So, I mean, after that, we contacted an attorney. He, I met with him and he agreed to take over the case. I would need to pay a retainer fee. Uh, I have all my receipts for my first initial payment which was $700, and that was on August 12th. The payments continued all the way until October 5th, and on October 11th, she basically called me and told me that she changed her mind about doing the adoption. After everything... Did she say why she had changed her mind? I really got a lot of excuses. I got a lot of reasons, basically. She didn't know how she would explain why she gave them up. She was in fear of that. Okay, what else? She also said because the father wanted to be a part of his life now. Okay. So that they could do it. And also because I would be a single parent. She didn't feel like I was Now let's get back to the ready. father thing. You didn't want the father to be a no, part? No, I absolutely wanted him to be a part of the life. So when she used that as an excuse, did you say, well, that's no problem. Yes. He can be a part of the child's life. Yes, I even and told him. What did him, she say when you told her that? I told her to contact him, have him call me. We can all sit down. She told me that she was confused as to how she was going to care for this baby. She was already doing it with one and we kind of tossed around the idea of what if I was to adopt a baby. And it was decided that I was going to be at every doctor's appointment, do any kind of classes I needed to take. And on October 11th, she basically called me and told me that she changed her mind about doing the adoption. After everything... Did she say why she had changed her mind? Plaintiff Skylar Jackson intended to adopt the defendant's child. But after she paid an attorney to handle the adoption process, the defendant backed out. All right, let me hear your side, man. Okay, um, she's correct. We've been best friends since seventh grade. We've mm -hmm. done everything. That's totally correct. Um, February 14th, 2011, me and my son's father conceived our son. We have never been a couple, but we're a couple. We're mm -hmm. more friends with benefits. So, um, so we knew then there was no commitment. When we ended up conceiving the baby, we were. I asked him straight up, what are we going to do? Um, I did, a family member did come to me and say, we'll adopt it. And the end of June, I want to say the last week of June of 2011, the family member backed out. Mm -hmm. And I went forth on an agency. I contacted Skylar because she is my best friend and let her know everything that happened. I'd say maybe about a week or two weeks later, she contacted me and was saying, hey, how about I adopt the baby? So, okay, we can just do exactly what the family member was going to do. 
So that was in July. At one point, I'm guessing she's correct, in August, she got a lawyer. We told the lawyer, you know, my son's father had already uh -huh. signed his rights over. So you need to get him to re-sign them again to, because uh -huh. who he signed it was just to the family member. Mm -hmm. So he knew that in August, that mm -hmm. he needed to do that. Mm -hmm. So time goes by, she's paying her lawyer. Her lawyer still has not contacted mm -hmm. the father. That's not true, Your Honor. Oh, no. Go ahead. So he contacted him um, in October. All this time mm -hmm. has went by in October. The dad called me and said, what's going on? And because I had not spoken to the dad. Mm -hmm. So I let him know, you know, the family member backed out. My best friend wants to adopt. He said, OK, well, tell me something. Tell me about about her. OK, he asked, was she married? I said, no, she's single. I said who her boyfriend was and that my son's dad and her boyfriend don't get along for whatever the reason is. Mm -hmm. That's them personally. So they don't get along. Um, he asked, well, where she Did he agree to sign the rights. No, he did not. Okay. And he wasn't going to. So that's to. why you're unable to right. uh, allow the adoption. Ma'am, uh, do you know that to be the case, that he refused to sign his rights? Uh, I, I am aware okay. that he did not. The lawyer that you paid $2,000 to, he didn't tell you that both parents have to yes, sign their I rights Yes, I was aware away, of that. Mm -hmm. And one didn't? Yes. So what did she do wrong? She actually came to me and she said, my speci her words mm -hmm. specifically, don't worry about what you paid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay you back for what you paid the mm -hmm. attorney. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, you could take me to Judge Mathis because mm -hmm. I've always wanted to meet him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we laughed about okay. it. Okay. Yes, and that's exactly what she said. Mm -hmm. And so from there, I said, okay, well, I have my receipts. You and your mom are free mm -hmm. to come over and look What'd at them. What did you give her in exchange for her promise to give you money? I'm sorry? What did you give her? I, I advised her to come over and look at the receipts. No, no, no. When there's a contract, one person gets something and the other person gets something. They give each other something. So what were you giving her? I was constantly doing for her during her pregnancy, No, Your Honor. specifically regarding this $2,000 she was to give you. What were you giving her in exchange, specifically? When there's a contract, someone says, I give you $2,000, you give me a car. I give you $2,000, you give me your watch. So that's what I mean. What was going to be exchanged for that $2,000 that she was to give you? It was nothing to be exchanged okay, for. Okay, then you didn't that's have a contract. That was a promise of a gift. She owed, that's what I had put into she it. She didn't owe you she anything, ma'am. But that was, she agreed to pay that money back. As a gift. And did she ever give it to you? No, she did not. Well, then you can rescind a gift until it's complete. You can't sue a person for not giving you a gift. Once it's completed, you can't take it back. But before you give it to the person, you can change your mind. I can say, uh, Doyle, let's go in the back and uh, sip 100-year-old cognac or something at the end of the day. And then on the way back, I say to myself, huh, Doyle can't appreciate no glass. <laughs> I don't know nothing about this. He, he is, yeah, he wants some yak. He is, you know, he's a beer drinker. And, I want, and one shot of this is $300. And I say, well, no, I don't think so, man. I, I don't think I'm going to let you drink this with me because I'll get you a beer. He can't sue me and say, well, the judge promised me a shot of 100-year-old cognac. And he didn't give it to me, so I'm suing. No, I just changed my mind before I give it to him. But if I give it to him, I can't snatch it out of his hand then. I can't say, oh, you're not drinking it right. Give it back. <laughs> no, I've completed the gift. Hey, uh, Doyle, let's go in the back and uh, sip 100-year-old cognac or something at the end of the day. And then on the way back, I say to myself, huh, just, Doyle can't appreciate no glass. <laughs> no. Plaintiff Skylar Jackson intended to adopt the defendant's child. But after she paid an attorney to handle the adoption process, the defendant backed out. And that's why I was asking you what you were giving her in exchange for this 2000 she was promising you. And you said nothing, ultimately. Your Honor, but I did so much for her during the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Everything, mm -hmm. literally everything. My mom watched her two-year, one-year-old daughter. That's what best friends do. At no cost. That's what best friends I do. I fed her her whole pregnancy. That's what de best friends do. I took do. her everywhere. Ma'am, she has done That's nothing not to you. The father refused to sign off, and you want to sue her, this best friend who you've done so much for. She did absolutely nothing to you. She was ready to allow you to adopt, and the father said no. I wasn't. Have a good day. Claim dismissed.
of what I did for you. I did, I went above and beyond in every way to help you when I did not have to. And, and I if didn't you, say you feel didn't. that you don't, well, Tori, you that you don't that you owe me anything, that money anything, you know you told me that. We all know that your daughter is but a liar. But we know that Chuck wasn't giving you the baby because you're un unstable as it is. Okay, and I'm more stable than they are. Guarantee oh, no, that. No. Oh, right, okay. I uh, guarantee well, that. You, and how? Where, where do you work? I have a job. Okay. Where, oh, and that's why you're going to sit Charles around and work unemployment? <laughs>